hello, my friends. Sorry, I've been a useless sack of shit um, <laughs> and taken a few days off. Um, just, I'm fine. Thank you for all the lovely messages and support and stuff. I just, you know, sometimes when life, little bits of life pile up and stuff and then it gets to a point where you're just like, oh, fuck. And yeah, I just needed to step back away. Um, thank you for the support. You are amazing. Everything's still going ahead and stuff. I'm still doing one club save. I've got a bunch of emails from clubs. I'm going to spend some time chatting to them because I don't want to give money. Like if we're going to raise money for a club that they're just going to booge on hookers, right? So let's just, I'll keep chatting to them. We'll have a lovely chat and I'll let you know when there's update. Probably like a week or so, but uh, it's all going ahead. Right. I have a club. Now, I story time slightly. So you know when you, you're looking for a club, maybe you've had a successful job and your contracts run out, think it's time for a change. We did well, promotion, exceeding expectations across the board. So you go in, <laughs> so you go into the job hunt all like, come on, I'll just, I don't even need to email, just contact me. Yeah, so that, um, I'd, you know, really carefully picking jobs. I didn't want to just apply for anything, you know? Pick on it, look at the club info, finances, you know, where are they in the league? Is this recoverable? Is this a good job? Can we build a project here? You know, like you do at the start. And then after the, like, the 15th, 20th rejection with no interview, you do the classic, go on holiday and definitely apply for all jobs. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> And kept getting jobs of non-league in England, but didn't want to go to England. Um, not that many jobs, actually. Um, and I partly, I wanted to go to like Germany or Italy or, you know, to crush the Giants, obviously. And just mix it up, you know, go to Europe and maybe head back to Asia or something later. So got to the point where I was just holidaying, coming back for some shitty job that I'm overqualified for saying no, going on. I don't. I don't really get the way you go on holiday and you can say choose to apply for jobs at and then it's like higher reputation clubs. That just doesn't work because I was applying for jobs at higher reputation clubs and I got offered the job. I applied for a job at a club that had barely a nipple, barely a nipple of reputation. Um, so anyway, do you want to see it then? And I'm going to say this now. We will be discovering this club together because I have done... Very little, well, no, I haven't looked at the team. I don't know the, fi all I know about the finances is in the club vision, it says repair financial damage. And we're also in a relegation battle with seven games left of this. It's all going to be fine. Let's have a look. <laughs> Welcome, my friends, to AC Monza. I can't believe I got a job in Italy. I can't believe it. They're really hard to get for some reason. Okay. Bring it down straight away. Bring it down straight away. All right. Lovely. Great. I am so looking forward to this at the U Power Stadium. Okay. But there's problems. Okay. We're going to I'll, I'll take you through the squad. I don't know it. Okay. Because I was applying for all sorts of jobs and I was just wanting to play football manager. And I've got such a big database that it takes fucking hours between jobs. Right. <laughs> Days. So I took the job. I had a, I look at the, the squad, like, but I haven't looked at any of the players. I know the league position. I know that the club, when you do the little club vision, it says repair the club's financial damage. We know these are a bit screwed, okay? And there's a big question mark that I need your help with because we might be fucked. But let's go through it together, discover it. So I'll show you, this is the club, 1912. Nickname is the Biancorossi. Um, and uh, this is the club vision. So sign Italian players, youth system, loving that. Budget, sell players for a profit, fine. Fight against relegation. So work towards repairing the club's financial damage. And then next, the season after that, just repair it. Work towards it, just, and then just do it, okay? So how bad is it, shall we? <clears throat> now look, let's think of this logically. We're, a, we're not a big club, right? We have... Okay, 18,000. We don't know if we own the stadium. We'll have a look at that. And we're trying to guess the debt. For a club like this, 4 million? Maybe like a million in the red and a bit of loan debt. That's what I'm going for. <laughs> hey? 
Oh, oh, okay. Spotted the problem. <laughs> oh, no. There's one in the Oh, no. Okay. Oh, that's quite a difference, isn't it? Um, oh, there's, a, there's another screen I've got to show you in a minute. That, that hurts. Um, okay, so any little bit of 45 grand a month. <laughs> so, okay, so there is a few bank loans. That looks worse than the bank loans, like we're being kept afloat. Net debt, 28 million. Okay. Um, Okay, we're a solid mid-table. Well, we were a solid mid-table team. We're 18 currently. Um, Three-star reputation. Like, that's why I just couldn't turn it down. But there is a slight problem. This is the league table. Which is fine. Like, this is fine. This is Serie B. I think it goes down to Serie C, doesn't it? In, in Italy. So, this is where I've got a problem. And, and you might be able to help me here. So, there we are. Yeah. Cool. You know, you click a little down arrow to go to the next league. Boom. This is us. So we have uh, seven games of the left season left. We're a point off. Shitty goal difference. But it's all, it's doable. But worst comes to the worst, you get relegated. That's, you know, it could easily happen. But <laughs> go down. I don't seem to be able to view any of the league. <laughs> Which immediately was like, oh shit, I don't have Serie C loaded. Maybe Serie C is not in this game. But I literally do. I've checked in Adam Remove Leagues. I have Serie C. I don't know what will happen if we get relegated. So if you know, let me know. Um, if Because there's like different... I might just be... But I don't, I've got fixtures and results, but I've, I've got no ability to the league table, which, which is almost like a non-loaded league, like, isn't it? So that's worrisome. Let's just not get relegated and we don't have to worry about it. Okay. So next up, <laughs> I kind of like this. I lo I know it's not the way maybe to play football manager. Just take a job and go, yeah, it's be fine. I'm sure they'll just give me a Ferrari. But I love it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I wanted to look. Got good corporate, adequate training, average youth. That's fine. Recruitment, academy coaching, fine. Just hand I used to take that. Now, one of the first emails I saw when I got the job is also one of the most terrifying. And it's this one. Monza players in last year of contract. Now, look at the reason for recommendation. There's a lot, a lot of people saying no interest. Absolutely no interest in signing a new contract. But that's going to be good. But, we, you know, at the end of the day, need to get rid of on the wages and on the you know some of these are bad negatives maybe you know like finances you haven't got any all that sort of stuff but we do have a player called Lorenzo Dickman so balances out it, I guess it kind of makes sense because we are our rep, my reputation is pretty crap you know for a three-star team right or oh, this could go, if it doesn't turn, I feel like if it doesn't turn immediately, this could go badly wrong. But at least we have team leaders. Dick Man is obviously, and he's transfer listed. Maybe if I just take him off the transfer list, he'll we'll stay. About the club's finances. What the fuck is he going to do with you? Just shut up and play football. Okay. Um... <laughs> Wait, what? One fucking player? Every team in the eight, April, so we, it's not youth intake. We've got one centre mid. That isn't a great year in centre mid. How can you not find children? Just get a big net. <sighs> okay, right. <laughs> That's, oh, gutting. I thought we might have a little, you know, next messy. It'll be, so, you know, perfect. Perfect luck. That Bret Hart. Um, so we have an okay squad. We'll we'll learn it. Obviously, most of these players are going to leave at the end of the season, so we don't have to take a ton of time. What I'm seeing as a problem with this club is that one, two, three, four, five, six. He's leaving. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 
19, 20, 21, 22, 20, 22 of our first team are either listed for transfer listed or loan listed. Hmm. I'm just wondering if it, if teams came in for this, what you were planning to do with the eight guys that are left over, manager. I can see where you might have gone wrong. We'll have to, there's a lot of, obviously, there's some chaff in here that we'll just throw in the resis and stuff, but I'll have a look at that. We'll come back to you. Uh, do, we, do I build a new tactic? The obvious answer is no. Use the tactic that you know sort of works because you need it to work straight away because we don't know if there's a division below. Uh, but part of me. Yeah, I think, okay, let's, okay. Logic, Loki, use the tactic. You've got a tactic. You will use that tactic. If it, like, we'll, we'll, you know, change it slightly to fit or whatever, but let's just pick something we know works and then, yeah, okay. So, transfers. 20 years old, probably a youngster that didn't quite make it in Milan. Go on, Freda. Nice. Wow. Well, I'm surprised. <laughs> Fully expected it to be utter bollocks. Right. Okay. It's all good then. Scouting. Do we have any budget? Um, we don't have any. So we're purely going to be relying on freebies and stuff. We can't even sign anyone. Contracts running out, really. The wages. Work. I'll work this out and move. Stuff. Okay, is there anything else that we need to look at? So here's their current form. So they went, that's probably the sacking period. Um, but a couple of wins. Four. Televised, nice. But good, this is all good. What's the. Uh... So it's an all city stone in Monza. The oh, it's... oh, okay, it's owned by the council. That's what I wanted to know. It's like, is it ours? No, no. We can't even sell the stadium to make some money. We don't even own it. We pay rent. Okay, right. We have. So I've... This is the day of joining the club. I have. Okay. Relax, you've got like 10 days off. Sweet. <laughs> right, we'll come back for the first game of the season. So a confident start. My my one my, my one of my star players that's unhappy about club's finances. I had a word with him and said, hey, look, I might have to sell a few players short term and he kicked up a massive fuss because apparently I'm just supposed to magic the fucking money out of my ass instead. Uh so that's good. Uh oh my word, we do not have a captain. Oh no. Oh loan, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to make him captain and then realise he never gets to play yet. Okay. Using myself to the squad. Let's see how it goes. I look forward to working with a lesser known man. Why did you fucking throw me? Like, Jesus. You don't have to... Why? Who would say that? Lesser known manager can bring in new ideas to the side. Uh, thanks, Avella. Um... I can't make any promises. Gonna, oh, yeah. Might not exist at the end of the season. I'm happy to. Um, top half. They stay up. Come off it. We all know we're favourites for relegation for a season. Season? Um, okay. So should I have come in and said, Hey guys, you're shit and we're definitely going to get relegated. Oh God, offended and hurt. I actually think, I don't think it mattered what I said then. They would have been that reaction then. They already hate me. So, good. <clears throat> right. I wanted to have a quick look to see if we've got any assets that we own. Got a few big players. What are their contracts? He's, he's, so, okay, so this guy, Akari's contract's running out. These guys have got two years and a year. So this is could be the key. William Zaffaroni is our centre-back option. 
kind of in between. He's not a very good, an okay defensive right back, but not really a full back. And he's not great in the air. He's only 5'10". He can, we can work on him. I like that. Right. Pass. So we can't pass either. So, oh, great. Not as good as I was hoping, in all honesty. Right, what about Baldini? Yep, like that. Stamina for days, good balance, decent pace. Perfect for back love. Okay. Centre back, left back, equally. Got a long throw. Got a couple of decent ones. Try some of them out and everything. But that's I think that's the only key. Right, who's who's the biggest drain? Our oh, Dickman. Of course he is. Happy about it. Happy about it. Are they right? Okay, we've got a few days for the game. Let's go. Don't want anything bad to happen. Just just chill. Just chill. We're we're training with the spring roll tactics, so hopefully it'll be fine. Um I just like a nice quiet day. Particularly, what I've done is I've removed everybody from the transfer list, everybody from the loan list. Because even if you know one of these guys is leaving at the end of the season, contract runs out, and he doesn't want to be. All the other players, I feel like if you're transfer listed and loan listed, you're not going to play as well. I just feel you might not play as well. A little bit unloved as you might have. So we're we're trying to turn it around, cheer everybody up. Although that might have the opposite effect because people might desperately want to leave and therefore be gutted that they have to stay. So who knows? I don't like to blame bad luck with, <laughs> with football manager, but my star striker, my top goal scorer has just broken his leg. So <laughs> in training. Okay, here we go. First game. I apologize. Just in advance to all Italians for the terrible pronunciations of towns, cities, football clubs, players, everything. Suck it up. Okay, good. Just wanted to you know, cross that three. I had this, I thought we were playing Lecce at first because I thought, oh, look, but actually they're an affiliate club in the same division where we just loan each other. Nothing dodgy about that national partnership in which players alone. Weird that you can be in the same division. Right, okay. I did say he was my top scorer that broke his leg. I was correct. I wasn't lying. But he also only scored four goals. In fact, both my top goal scorers. <laughs> what? No, that's the wrong one. Okay, I thought they both got a broken leg. Jesus. Three weeks. Okay. What a cow. So that's good. So we can. I think we can see where the problem is. Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> yeah, we've scored 22 goals. Okay. Right, let's build a team, people. Let's build a team. Okay. Avella seems to be our main goalkeeper. Okay player. No massive weaknesses. Our fella is back up. Okay. Solid back. Fine. It's hard to know because, like, you know, the level of all the other teams and stuff. But it seems all right. Right back. No, oh, Dick Manon. <laughs> Don't even care how the other. Um, yeah, he's never. Was, is he? Uh, obviously, we can pick. Right. And we've got. Ricardo Fugaza and Luigi Baldini. One of our big mates. Yeah, he's stamina and the balance. Run all day for us. Baldini. Uh, so that's solid. Okay. Actually really pleased with the right fullbacks. Love that. Love that. Now. I was gonna so we've got Kappa Ferry. Our beast of centre back with a big long throw. Their left back if needed. Who's our next best? Like Prada's. They did. Where we seem lacking. Got this guy. Um. Yeah, okay. 
and play right back. He's the centre back as well. That's good. Okay, so it's not too like that's not too bad. And if once he's back, that's a good third choice. Okay, fourth choice. Youngster, fifth choice. Not terrible. I see a lot of these people leaving at the end of the season, but that's fine. Okay, so in midfield, well, our two centre mids kind of sit generally. We've got a ball winning midfielder that does a bit of roamy, a bit of tackly, and a guy that just stands there yelling at him. Okay? Essentially. <laughs> How good players it looks like? We've got Damiani, who is nice. Expect for what we need. Prime doesn't seem horribly unhappy. Really good. And on form. This is actually really important. And then we've got Danzi. So that seems to be our two guys. Oh, great. A bit more well rounded. So we'll, we'll have him as our ball winning midfield. I'm, I get a lot of goals. I've always got a lot of goals for ball winning midfield. And uh, so you. I, okay, that's great. If at any point these need to be subbed or get injured, the drop off <laughs> is quite drastic, as you can see without even looking. Like Bonavita, like that's that's our kind of next guy. So yeah, okay, future strengthening area now. But as a first team, I think that's brilliant. It's probably the goalkeepers, the only thing letting us down a little bit. It this is the problem area. We decided to just. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got eight strikers. One gets to play. Play them out on the one. But... Okay. The other Loney. 14 finishing. 14 heading. 14 pace. 14 acceleration. 14 decisions. 14 agility. Four... Okay. Goals. Can't finish for shit. So not really good crosser of the ball. Okay. Fatchy. Um, not a striker, right footed, unambitious. You know that we're, I see the problem. Maso Galante, he can finish and he's pacey. It's like bare minimums, isn't it? Like, uh, better than okay. Right winger, right winger. He's looking like a right winger, isn't he? There's no strikers in it. Is there anybody with a left foot? Anybody got a left foot here? Just come on up. Come on up to the front. You can play left wing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's got six crossing. <laughs> Get excited for a second. Okay. <laughs> six crossing, eight dribbling. Okay. Oh, wow. This is weird, isn't it? Okay. So, the left. But then I'm losing his finishing. I think we just play Galante. Okay, we'll play Galante on the left and we'll play the this guy who's barely played football this season. All the 14s. We'll play him up top. Go in faith. Now, do we have anybody that can pass a fucking football? Eleven passing, eight vision. Might be good, like late on, fresh legs type thing. Twelve subs. Oh. Um. <laughs> That's just problem. Like. Um, okay. I think I can pretty much just put everybody on the bench, can't I? <laughs> Space for everybody. That... Easy. Just. There we go. Built. Look at that. So look, it's not bad. If you could keep this fit, this is just obviously the massive, massive problem. Like, not fix this at all. Also, another news. Um, I'm just culling the entirety of this team because there's just no point for it. We've got like 19, 20 year old kids that aren't that are like three star potential. What is the point of you in our team? Like carrying on existing as a human. I just mean 
you know, maybe go somewhere else. So I just cut the wages. I'm just going to let all these contracts run out, get rid of them at the end of the season, just all the beat. So our one fucking youth intake guy can turn up. I just think it was just my son. Right. Are we ready? Score predictions. Obviously, because it was so close to the end of the season, I thought, I, and I haven't updated the wheel, I thought I'd sp spin the wheel at the beginning of next season. So many of them are like transfer based. All. Right. The good thing is, with this striker that's never used, if, if he scores, I'm like a genius. Oh, we didn't even play him. Here we go. No idea to what to expect. I love it. Go out there. <laughs> Get out there and show the world you have what it takes because the world is watching this. Seri B. Nobody turned up at the stadium. Right. Their form is pretty shit as well. Let's go. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm doing that now because I'll be crying by the end. So. Table team. So this is a really nice test away from home. Full build up. Uh, our kit man is working on a kit for next season. Very much, sir. Okay, here we go. Danzy, he, he wants to leave because club's in financial trouble. Lovely. Go on. Expensive. My microphone. Okay, that was me dropping it, but I had to catch it. <laughs> Not quite the same effect. That's what we do around here, mate. Yeah? I'll fix shit. Right. Saved them already. And our left winger. Galanti, actually, we could almost swap. Ooh, we could almost swap because Mossy was our main, other than the striker, was our main goal scorer, right? That right-hand side, a bit more attacking. But now we could make it the left-hand side. He can actually shoot and stuff as well. Galanti might be the one that... When we need to make subs that we're... <laughs> it's going to be the problem. Well, arm. Oh, he looked like he stamped on him. Is that allowed in Italy? Okay. All right. A few minutes in. Definitely looked like a stamp earlier on, but that's fine. We played on. The 50-50 stamp. Need an early result. Like a draw would be great. Something I can go into the team meeting and go, well done, guys. We did well. And try and build them up so they like me more and they get used to everything. It needs to happen very soon. If we go like three losses in a row or something, then we could easily be. Moment, I'm confident. Hey. Just saw the league table. <laughs> Just all the league games. Hang on. Offside. One all. Oh, like. <laughs> False storm. <laughs> Let's look. Like, we're going positive. We're one all against a mid table team. Outstretched arms. I'm happy. But I think our plan with this team until the end of the season is we need to manage it. Love playing high pressing. But as we know, after the first 11, there's a slight drop off. I think any time we can get away with it, try and drop the press a little bit. Come on, Lungi. Oh my God. Alberto Lungi. What a finish. <laughs> All right. Wasn't expecting a Peter Dinklage from there. Let's go, mate. All right. Like, how to play? I just feel like the game's going to fall apart, though, but as soon as I do this, that's the only thing. I feel like... 
suppose we could keep the press. No, that's just so not what I do. Fuck it. No! We play my way. We'll play the shit players. They get untired, right? Got seven games of the season left. I will play these guys until their legs falls off. That's what we do. We, that's that's the plan. Not about them because most of them are leaving at the end of the season. So if bits are falling off them by then, that's fine because they're not our problem to deal with. Most of these guys want to leave, so we might as well just let them have it. Play until they're dead. That's good. 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 Great tackle. Whoa. Uh, we'll go. Good call. Most it. I normally do, which is you know, just drop it back a little bit, but keep keep pressing. Let's go. Ten minutes, boys. Focus. Look at their XG. Give me this. Give me this. Get in there. Get in there. Smash and grab. Deadly. Easy. That should have turned around the dynamics. They should go, fuck me. The new Jose Mourinho. Like, when he was good, like, when he was a good manager, and sort of forgotten about it, you know, and the game had passed him by before that. Oh, my God. Let's look at the dynamics, see if there's made any difference. Hey! <laughs> see what I mean, though? And, it, and this is true to life. Like, it's mad, right, how the club atmosphere, the team cohesion and, and support and stuff. And I used to think sometimes this was a bit over-egged. It was, it was of too importance. But just look at real life. It happens all the time. Man United aren't a shit team. They're just not a shit team. But when you start losing faith, whether that be manager or training or coaches or whatever, it, it just falls apart very quickly. And sometimes all it needs is a win or two and you're back on track. So I love that. So that's why we needed a quick win. Obviously, what was it? I've got what? Oh, I've made one of the players unhappy, have I? Him, he was already unhappy! Is that good just to have everyone in their big group of players? I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. Right, there we go. I'm a fucking genius, people. Right, out of the relegation zone. Flying up the league, dominating performance. If you take away all the like shots and stuff and just look at goals, we scored twice as many. 100%. Yes. And uh, my favourite bit this guy just comes on and immediately scores after getting no football. Absolutely love it. I know how to spot a player. Right. There you go, my friends. What do you think of the team? I think it's better than expected. The finances are really bad. But not it's all about reducing the wage budget. And I think once we can do that, I think <laughs> um, it'll be a lot better. That's fine. I can do. I'm, I'm good at that. Right. That's one of my skill sets. So that's OK. I think the only way for me is this Seri C thing that just doesn't seem to be there <laughs> as a table. But I, maybe I'm just being stupid. Let me know. Um, and the team is fine as long as we have no injuries and we don't need to pass to the number 10. Right. And of course, let's not forget the best thing of all. Fucking you, Fintech Day. Excited. <laughs> right. There we go, my friends. Thank you very much for watching. On a serious note, go now. Like, if it's just football manager, you don't have to worry about it. I just, just on a serious note, um, because I always think it's important to talk about stuff, even if it's kind of hard, because we're blokes and we're shit at talking about stuff. So, um, last last month, I suppose, um, life has just started to bubble up and just get a bit on top of me a bit. You know, I'm um, and I'm not complaining. <laughs> like, that's what I mean. I just want to talk about it. So, um, yeah, like stuff was just getting a bit on top, like just stress. We were sort of somewhat looking at houses and we're house hunting and. Um, and funny stuff and work stuff and just, you know, brain stuff, mainly brain stuff, um, that just, and it's weird. Cause it's like, I was like, shit, 
one morning woke up and I was like, I need to just fucking switch off and, you know, I can't make a video and have a laugh and be funny. Uh, so, you know, I tweeted out that I was taking a break and I put it in the YouTube um, community section and tons of lovely messages and, and, and everybody said, take, you know, take as long as you need sort of stuff. And I like it. It means the world to me. Thank you. There is a, an ironic sort of cut off. It's like when you're self-employed, it's like, Worried about I'm stressed because I'm worried about money and other stuff, right, and everything. So I'm just gonna take some time off, and then every day, you know, you're earning less money because you're not working. So it kind of takes some time off to de-stress from work, and you know, a couple after a couple of days, you're like, Ugh. so anyway. But yeah, and and thank you to the Patreon and stuff that means that even that I means if I stop for a week. I'll only lose ad revenue. So, like, thank you so much for everybody that supports me. Don't, this is not, uh, you all understand me, right? <laughs> I hate my brain. I was just, and then my son thought was, oh my God, they're going to think I'm begging for Patreon. Don't set, don't sign up to Patreon today. You've done a bazillion more. The support over the last few weeks has been incredible. This is not about that at all. I'm very happy with where Patreon is. So please don't go and um, sign up to Patreon. Like, um, that's cool. I just wanted to, Talk about um, you know, that sort of stuff and how it is a struggle. And it's okay to struggle. And it's okay to tell people it's a struggle. Right? I know we're big, burr, burly men. You know, all of us. We're alpha males. I understand that. Everybody that subscribes to my channel, the men, are all alpha males. Just natural. You know, we, we gather together. Um, but... It's still important to talk about it. So, um, yeah. I'm all good now, honestly. It was just nice to have a break. Um, I've got a great support structure, which is the all important. You need people you can talk to and stuff. My girlfriend's amazing and stuff, and I spoke to a few other people. Lovely. Um, I am back now, and like I said earlier, the One Club save is all underway. Processing in the background. Haven't forgot it. It's just I'm going to take a bit of time and make sure we get a good club. I've got about five ish at the moment that i want to delve deeper into um but feel free to go back on that video if you have any ideas for clubs and stuff and let me know right there we go where do you think we're going to finish this season people well just about everywhere we have six games of the season left a possible 18 points that gives us 50 points which means we'll finish sixth that's how we're going to do this season and nobody else is going to pick up points because thank you very much for watching I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.